Hey, it's Megan from Good Team. I am going to walk you through everything you need to know about marketing contacts in HubSpot. Um, so you probably know that when you get a Marketing Hub subscription, you have a limit on how many marketing contacts you can have. Um, and that's different per account. Basically, the difference between marketing and non-marketing is a little self-explanatory. People you want to market to versus people you don't. The HubSpot tools that you are going to be using that what you will definitely need to be using with marketing contacts are a lot of the email tools and the ads and ad audiences. Um, basically any active marketing you want to be doing, you want those contacts to be marketing contacts. Um, and this is something that is actually a big issue with a lot of our clients. This is just a low priority. So it ends up, they spend money on a bunch of contacts that they don't actually need. So this is a huge way to um, stay on top of keeping your budget lower um, and just condense the amount of people that you're marketing to, to be actually people who might respond or hear from you or whatever your process is. Um, so anyway, there's a lot of ways to stay on top of keeping your limit low or changing your um, subscription if that's what you need to do. Um, if you go to the top right corner of your portal and then you scroll down to account and billing, and this is our good team account, usage and limits. So as you can see here, our marketing context, we are using 639 of our 2000. Um, so basically we have a lot of leeway right now, but a lot of portals don't. Um, HubSpot will send you an email when you are reaching your limit. And then when you're at 98%, there'll be a banner on the top of your HubSpot portal, just warning you like, hey, you're close. You might want to um, think through your marketing versus non-marketing contacts. Um, so some big things to consider here is kind of the timing of how all of this works. So basically, let's look through some of these properties. So this is my um, contact record in our account. Um, and there are a lot of, there's four different properties that HubSpot created to help us track all of this information, which have been super helpful. So a marketing contact status is obvious. Am I marketing or non-marketing? Um, marketing contact until next update is important. So basically... Let's say I'm a marketing contact, you're marketing to me, but then I become unengaged and you're like, mm, she's not really worth having as a marketing contact. You set me to non-marketing. That won't go into effect until your next um, update date, which can be found here. Next update for us is December 1st, 2024, and this is under your usage and limits, um, but that's different for every portal and depending on how often you pay. Um, so I will be counted billing wise as a marketing contact until December 1st. Um, so that is something to definitely consider when a contact is set to non-marketing, it won't decrease your number until the next activity date. On the flip side, if you exceed your marketing limit, the next day you will be charged a prorated rate and it won't go down until the next date. So basically this update date is super important when it comes to setting context to non-marketing. Um, and that is kind of a good deadline for you or your team to say, hey, before this date, let's clean through our lists or whatever your process is and get some people set to non-marketing. So you have more of a leeway for the next month or um, few months. Um, to ramp up that number um, and get some new leads in. Um, so yeah, these are super important to look at. So this is currently how it's looking in the billing. Am I marketing or non-marketing? This is how it'll be. So let's say I set myself to non-marketing right now. This would stay marketing and the marketing contact till next update would change to non-marketing. Um, and then these marketing contact status source name, marketing contact status source type. Um, these are going to give you some insight into what changed the status. Um, this one could be workflows, conversations, forms. This is a drop down, and then this is a um, single text. So this will just give you, if you're digging in, to what is setting people as marketing. This would be a good thing to look at at the contact level. Another thing you can do if you are noticing that a lot of your 
um, contexts are being set to marketing and you just don't have a lot of insight into your portal and automations and what's happening um, is you can go to marketing context status here um, and see what this property is used in. So right now we just have it used in views and lists, but if you have workflow setting this property or any other automations, then they'll be listed here and you can kind of audit through and say, hmm, this isn't working for us or this is. Um, so that is another helpful tool. Let me see if there's anything else on my list. Um, I don't think so. So hopefully this answers all of your questions. This again is a super important screen to keep in mind under your account and billing, just to keep track of everything. Um, I hope this helps you guys save money and have a cleaner portal. That is always our goals. Um, have a great day. Let us know if you have any more specific questions.